This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, November 9th, 2010. I'm Jeff Cummings filling in for Peter Bush, and we wanted to do something special on today's show to honor the life of Fran Crippen, who died during an open water race on October 23rd. As those who attended his funeral on October 30th will attest, Crippen's life touched many people around the world, and he is part of a swimming family that will forever be remembered for their toughness in the pool and generosity out of it. Our tribute will feature photos taken by Swimming World Magazine senior photographer Peter Bick, followed by part of an interview with Crippen's longtime coach Dick Schulberg on a selfless act that will live on as a lasting memory of our friend, Fran Crippen. transition of Fran from a pool swimmer to open water has been unbelievably successful, which has then brought ever other people currently into our program. I've always liked over open water. I love the freedom of it. Um, there are no boundaries. I love the different speeds that different athletes do during the race. I, I love the strategy. Um, and, and it, it sort of reminds me of the Tour de France, uh, how these guys set it up, and then you wonder how in the heck can you go almost two hours at a high volume, high heart rate, and then all of a sudden find great speed. Sprint the last three. Sprint the last three, four hundred. So it's it's fascinating to me, but it's just an example. The human body can do more than what you're expected to do. Let's talk about it. Can we break down the pan pack race, the open water pan pack race, where we watched uh, Chip Peterson. Yep. He took it out. So after yep. the first loop, it was really, really slow pace. Yep. And then he took it out pretty fast. Yep. Fran, you know, and the rest of the group caught up to him. And with the 300 meters to go, it was Fran uh, Weinberger from Canada. Right. And Peterson, you know, who's got it with 300 meters to go? Right. Um, at, at that point, did you feel like, especially what Fran had proven up to that point, that this was his race to lose because of his closing speed? Yep. I think two things happened at that meet. Number one, I think after the World Championship trials and World Championships in Canada, I think there was some fatigue that set in to Fran. But the announcer during the race announced that Fran Crippen went back to help his teammate. And the young man from Harvard got sick in the water. And Fran really didn't need to go back to help him because they have lifeguards and everything out there, but he... His roommate was hurting, and he went back. Then he started to pick up the pace. This was at, at World Championships? At Pan Pax. At Pan Pax. Yeah. He, I, the announcer announced that, uh-oh, something's going on. Fran Crippen went back to his teammate, the young man from Harvard. Yeah. And I, I said to Fran afterwards, did that cost you? He said, I really don't care. I wanted to make sure my teammate was all right. I said, well, Fran, they have lifeguards out there. He said, I know they have lifeguards out there. It's not the question. I wanted to make sure my teammate was all right. So by going back 30 to 40 meters 
staying with his teammate to first aid game probably cost him winning it. And you know what? He could care less. And, and that's what I, I love about Fran Griffin. He knows there are times when getting the gold medal is not that most important thing in his day. I had not heard that story. Yeah, and the announcer picked it up immediately, and I was wondering what the heck was going on. Uh, and um, Fran, is, Fran took the red eye home from open water, got to Philadelphia at 6 a.m. with his sister, Teresa. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they did 90 minutes of fitness at GA. So he is... No off-season whatsoever. No, he, he's going to China. On the 21st of this month, two races in China, one in Hong Kong, home for two and a half weeks, and then to Dubai, and then the season's over. But he's, I've known Fran since he's been six. In high school, there were days I didn't know if I wanted to coach him. And Fran Crippen is one of my heroes. Uh, what he has done for himself, his family, our school. The sport. The sport. Um, and and he had his disappointments. He was considered a top contender in 08. Olympic trials in 08, not a good experience. Mm -hmm. Came back to coach a GA to give back to GA. That was the intent, not to swim. And then I saw the itch come, and he got back in the water. And, um, and while he was coaching the GA, he wouldn't take any money from the school. He just said, I have to give back to GA. So when you get guys like that that want to give back to your program, it's such a wonderful feeling for a coach. And, and I think we all try to instill that in our kids. But when, they, when it really happens, wow, it, it, you, you go to bed happy.